Hey, uh, welcome back to our Windows 7 how to's. This is actually a little more advanced for you. If you've been trying to figure out how to turn off the arrow shake feature in Windows 7, you can actually do so. Uh, there could be a number of reasons why you want to get rid of it. Of course, arrow shake is the feature that allows you to minimize all their windows by simply grabbing one window and shaking it. And as you can see there, all of our other windows collapsed and minimized, leaving just the active window open. Uh, you may want to get rid of it because you have a shaky hand. I don't know. For whatever reason, we're going to show you exactly how to do that right now. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up RegEdit. So you're going to go to Start Menu, type in RegEdit, and hit Enter. This will pull up the registry editor for Windows 7. You're going to navigate to the following location. You're going to go to H key Current User. From there, you're going to navigate to software. From software, you're going to open up the policies folder, then open up Microsoft, then to Windows. Now, you're going to create a new item in this Windows folder in your registry. So you're going to right click on the Windows folder, go to new, and choose D Word, 32 bit value. Now, over on the right hand side, you see new value number one. You're going to edit that, and you're going to call it no window. Minimizing shortcuts and make sure this is case sensitive. Make sure the N uh, in no, the W in window, the M in minimizing, and the S in shortcuts are all capitalized. Then you're going to go over to value. Oh, damn it. Why can't I edit the value, Eric? What have you What have you done over here? What did you do to his Mac? Yeah, what did you do to my Why Why am I having trouble edit, editing the Windows 7 registry on this Mac? Now I got it. Go back and start it from the expanding the folders again. All right. So you're going to navigate to software. Then you are going to navigate to Microsoft. From there, you are going to navigate to Windows. Oh, I just did the wrong one. <laughs> what is it? Software and then to policies. OK. So you're going to expand the software folder. Then you're going to expand the policies folder. From there, you're going to expand the Microsoft folder and then to the Windows folder. Now, you're going to actually be adding an item to this registry. You're going to right click on the Windows folder and select New. From there, you're going to choose D Word. 32 bit value. And this is what you're going to enter in for the name. Right now it says new value number one. You're going to edit that and change it to no window minimizing shortcuts. And you have to make sure uh, this is, of course, case sensitive. So the N in no, the W in window, the M in minimizing, and the S in shortcuts all needs to be uppercase. Then you right click on your new entry, click modify, and you're going to change that value data to 1. Click on OK. Restart your computer, and Arrow Shake is now disabled on your machine. So again, if you have that shaky paw, you don't have to worry about all your stuff minimizing every single time you grab a window with your mouse. Uh, also very easy to return Arrow Shake to being on. You simply delete the registry value that you just created. That is exactly how you disable Arrow Shake on your new Windows 7 PC.